Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. So y'all saw my last clip. Y'all saw that I was in Medina. And uh, yeah, there is a reason that people go and make these trips to Medina and to Mecca. The trips to Medina are optional. One trip to Mecca is uh, binding upon us if we're able. Any other trips to either one of the two cities are only strictly optional. There are, uh, you do, in a sense, you can say you score points for Judgment Day by making these optional trips. Uh, but the Hajj is the one that's required if one is able. What I did was optional. Just trying to score some extra points and maybe knock off some bad deeds. We've all done them before. Um, and yes, there is a change that happens. And... Um, I, I thought about it after I recorded the last one as I was saying different prayers in it and I figured well instead of me simply saying that the solution is in this I can move on to giving more details about how the solution for black folk and really other oppressed people as well as in Islam instead of even just saying that that's where it is I'll try to give a few details every now and then because if you give details you're explaining and explaining right now is what we need a hell of a lot more than preaching. Now, if you can preach and explain, I'll fuck the shuck up and listen. But I would much rather, um, yeah, I, I think I would much rather explain right now at this point uh, than to merely preach. Maybe we're a people that are in need of edutainment. Maybe that's what it is. I don't mind if we are. I'll edutain. But anyway. The brother of logic and common sense put his video out uh, in response to the Jason Roger Po Chump, I mean Pope fiasco. DJ Kid, DJ AIDS. And um, I'm glad that he finally said it, something about it, because when I said that when sisters do decide they want to swirl, it, they go straight to the white man. Not any other man of color, not any man without a history of oppressing us. No, they go straight to the man with the history of oppressing everybody else. And this speaks to a type of sickness because when brothers are willing to step out, they try to be open and neutral towards different ethnicities. And the preference ain't always Becky. A lot of times it ain't Becky. The brothers that prefer Becky are the ones that for whatever reason don't prefer sisters and they probably live somewhere where they weren't exposed to women that, were, that weren't Becky but they weren't Sapphire either. I mean, for a brother to want Becky and Amber, he pretty much has to be surrounded by nothing but sapphires and no one else but Becky and Amber. I understood that, and I've said this before. When sisters get a hold of, uh, or when they decide that they're done with Junebug and Shine, they don't go for Rico. They don't go for Tarek. So I'm, that's my... This mine? That, that like your day? Huh? Yeah, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, shukran jazila. Shukran. Don't know about your Oh, uh, Aiden, uh, al -hello what? Okay, I apologize for the interruption. Uh, Y'all can imagine what that's about. I just ordered something. Uh, so anyway, um, the uh, fact is that when, when Junebug and Shine decide they done, they give shots to different women of different origins and ethnicities. And they give a chance, and women have a chance to prove themselves or not disprove themselves. But when, when Sapphire's done with brothers, when she's done with Junebug and Shine and uh, any of these trifling brothers, and when she, then she's finally done with brothers, she goes straight. It ain't Rico, it ain't Bardock, it ain't uh, take your pick. You know, it's not uh, Chen Yi, it ain't, no, uh-uh. It's not Hattori Hanzo or Hanzo Hattori, whatever that character's name is. In other words, it's not even an Asian man with some swag, as we would say. It ain't even that, no, no, it's got to be Massa. Mr. Charlie's grandson. Mr. Charlie the Third. Um, Fauntleroy the Third, or whatever that character's name was in that Spike Lee mockumentary, which was well done, I'd say. That's who they go for. It's got to be one of them. And frankly, I've gotten sick and tired of it. 
And what I've noticed is that even in the Muslim community, if a sister decides she wants to swirl, it's not with somebody from Bangladesh where they don't generally have a hatred of black folks. It's not with a Malaysian man or an Indonesian man or a Filipino man. They ain't got no issues with us. It's straight for the Arab. Why? Because, well, the Arabs kind of hold themselves up as the white folks of the Muslim world, even though they're only 14% of the Muslim population. Yeah, a lot of us didn't know that. So they do that. And it's just normal. And so when sisters in the Muslim community do want us world, they want... Guess who? And I'm glad that somebody else noticed this and pointed that out because see, when I say it, well, you know, I'm just that, uh, I'm, I'm of average height, average build, quite pale. It doesn't carry the same weight. When the brother of logic and common sense says it, he's taller. I can tell from the videos that I have seen, recognizable. In other words, this lion has a mane. Um, if you catch my drift, but I want to say this, though, and this is where one of the principles of what I've come to believe can be a solution for us. One of the principles is that you you listen to uh, the truth and justice, uh, regardless as to who it comes from. Now, somebody may tell the truth for the wrong reason, and you're allowed to recognize their reason is wrong. You just don't deny the truth. But you do. You must. And we're really bad about this. We'll take the truth spoken for the wrong reason from somebody else and we'll say, yeah, but that's true. We'll take the truth spoken for the right reason. We'll even take the wrong thing said for the right reason from one of us, from, uh, from one of us or anybody and say, yeah, yeah, but I know where you're coming from, though. We'll do that. We listen almost with a bias that is against ourselves. And uh, we're going to have to learn to start judging right as right. It has to be that, that the end has to be right and the reason has to be right and the same thing for wrong. The actions must be wrong, the information must be wrong, and they need to be said for the wrong reason too, i.e. this father mucker's lying before we start rejecting things just because we don't want to hear it or before we start accepting things just because we do want to hear it. We got to be careful about that, and we're not. I'm glad he said it. He's saying it for the right reason. There's no reason... Uh, there's nothing for him to gain by saying what he said. The only question now is, sisters, you going to listen. This comes from a taller, better paid, more skilled brother than I am. You're going to listen. But the next time, if I say something that happens to be correct, and I stand to gain nothing if you listen to it, are you going to listen for your own good? And the same thing with somebody else. If Don Calypso says something that's true, are you going to listen? If Man of Tomorrow says something is true, LAR Movement says something is true, are you going to listen even when you can't see them, even when you can't judge their physical appearance? What if a lot of you weren't taken in by LAR Movement's looks, but he's still speaking the truth? Would you listen and would you understand that it's not coming from a place of hatred? A lot of you wouldn't. But the day that many of us would, on both sides of the gen, on both, if from both genders, the day that many of us would close our eyes and listen to what's being said and determine if it's being said for the right reasons before we accept it is the day that many of us will find more and more freedom and salvation. Because when we listen with the biases with which we listen now, we're easily motivated in the wrong direction and anybody can exploit it. I could. If I had not identified myself to us as one of us, I could have said a lot of things and just been and it would have been taken right off the bat without argument. I hope this has been a benefit. Black Heart sign a blackout. Assalamu alaikum.